All right, guys, welcome back to Mets Central. This is Game Reaction 74. Uh, the New York Mets defeat the Chicago Cubs by a score 11 to 1. I got to say, a very impressive performance from the Mets today. Just put on an absolute hitting clinic. I mean, you take a look at the box score. Everyone who started the game for the Mets today, apart from Mark Vientos, got a hit. Very impressive right now from this team. And listen, the Mets right now, they're 36, 36 and 38. They're currently half a game back of the wild card. But the Grimace Mets, 8-1. And, and ever since, you know, that team meeting happened, you know, back a couple weeks ago with the whole Jorge Lopez thing and stuff, this team is just, you know, they've turned it around and they're playing some really good baseball right now. I mean, just going back to the box score right now, I mean, you have Lindor going three for five today. And I got to I gotta mention, Francisco Lindor recently has been very impressive. And this is the guy that we know he can be. It's Look, it's very – very frustrating when you see a guy like Lindor who's, one, making all that money right now. You know, he's making $34.1 million a year. And it sucks to see when he gets off to those slow starts because if you take away those slow starts, like, his seasons are, like, incredible. Hits home runs, RBIs, you know, uh, it would be a much higher batting average. But, unfortunately, you can't take at the beginning of the year where he was horrible. But it's a good it's a good sign to see that he's bouncing back right now. Brandon Nemo has turned it around recently. J.D. Martinez is another guy that I'm so glad that the Mets picked up picked up J.D. Martinez because he has been so good for this. He's been so good for this team in this lineup. He just brings a whole another you know dy uh, dynamicism to this to this lineup. And I wish we had him in 2022, but you know can't do anything about that now. Pete's been much better lately. Marte continuing a decent season. Vientos has been good. Alvi starting to you know come around, especially since he came back from from his um injury. Jose Iglesias has been a really good pickup for this team. He's been playing well, you know, especially since McNeil's had a terrible season so far. But, yeah, he's been good. And, um, yeah, uh, Jose Quintana started today. And I got to say, um, apart from a shaky first inning, which it wasn't helped because um, Mark Vientos had a bobble a ball, which didn't lead to a double play or just an out in general. So it was, it was base loaded, no out, and he only gave up one run in that inning. So, very impressive stuff from Quintana today. He went, I think he went six and one third today. Gave up four hits, I think, one one earned run. So, yeah, pretty impressive stuff today. And look, I was a little worried going to going into this game because you know you had you had um, um Imanaga on the mound today for the Cubs. He's been very impressive uh, this year so far with a low ERA. You know, he that ERA got bumped up today a lot because the Mets just you know absolutely destroyed him today. But you know. Lower ERA, probably one of the guys that's going to be in contention for the National League Rookie of the Year. And and also the fact that the Mets just don't hit left, he's good in general. But they found a way today, you know, against a Cub team that they're also battling for the wild card spot. But, yeah, I mean, just just to go over the game a little bit, I mean, like I said, you go through that first inning, Lindor with a double, Nimmo walk, J.D. Martinez with a big three on home run to give the Mets the lead. Um, You know, like I mentioned before, bomb of the first, you had – um. Jose Quintana again to a jam, base loaded, nobody out, was able to get out of the inning, only gave, gave up one run. Alvarez had a big home run today in the top of the second. He made it 4-1. Um, Jose Iglesias with some nice hitting. Brandon Nemo on, again with a – what was it? A two-run uh, uh, two homer, a one-run homer, but he hit his 10th home run of the year. That made it 6-1. And then Quintana just, you know, grooved. He had a couple – Couple good innings, a one, two, three, second inning, you know, followed by Morga hitting by Pete Iglesias, you know, just just all around a very impressive performance today. And I think that after um, after Jose Quintana came out of the game in the in the seventh inning, Adam Adovino came in to um, Adam Adovino came into pitch. He you know made it a little interesting because of course that's what um, Adam Adovino does. Never easy with this guy, but he was able to give give the Mets one and one third inning today. And then Drew Smith came in. He yeah, Drew Smith came in today, pitched pitched the ninth inning to shut the game down. And yeah, that's pretty much from this game. It was a it was a nice easy game for the Mets. You know, no really trouble they got into like like apart from what I said in the bottom of the first where they had the base loaded, but they got out of it. So yeah, eleven to one win. And then now thirty six and thirty eight. Half a game out of the wild card, and yeah, it's it's very interesting where the Mets are going to go from here because I'm not exactly 100 convinced on them yet being a playoff team. 
I still want to give them a couple weeks because, as we've seen with this team before, they can be very inconsistent. I mean, we saw it, prime example, beginning of the year. They started 0-5. We thought, you know, here we go, another bad season. Then they had that hot stretch, and they got over 500, and we looked like, okay, this is the team that we expected. They're going to be a playoff team. And then they, you know, hit another cold streak. All the stuff happened, Jorge Lopez and stuff. They had the team meeting. Grimace happened, and – Right now, they're on a good trajectory right now. I mean, if they keep playing this way, you know, especially with the rest of the National League being not good at all, I mean, a bunch of teams are just under 500 right now. I mean, the I mean, the San Diego Padres right now, who has the last wildcard spot, they're 39 and 40, so they're not even over 500. So, yeah, like I said, um, I still got to give it a couple more weeks until the trade deadline to see where this team is before I can fully, you know, say that, okay, let's buy a couple pieces, let's try to make a playoff run, or, you know, maybe, you know, it, w- it was a nice little run, but let's just regroup, reevaluate, let's trade off some pieces, recoup, you know, recoup some prospects. But it's going to be a very interesting, but like I said before, we got to wait and see, because listen, if the Mets are going to keep playing like this and they're going to keep winning games, then, hey, listen, David's, I, I, listen, I trust David Stearns to make the right decision, so let's see what he does, but yeah, I mean, a very good win by the Mets today. They played tomorrow, I think, at 2 o'clock as well. Yeah, 2.20, you got Tyler McGill on the mound for the Mets and Jamison Tyone for the Cubs. So let's see what happens. You know, if the Mets can, you know, win this series, maybe even sweep this series, that'd be great. And then after, you know, have a day off before they play the, the Yankees at City Field for the Subway Series. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, Mets win, great performance. See you guys later.